Okay, we're ready for the um, scenic road public hearing for 72 Love Lane. Um, and what we're going to be doing is reviewing proposed Stonewall reconstruction at 72. Um, did everybody uh, do your homework assignment and drive down Love Lane? I did, but I saw the pictures. Okay. So the question is, what is the style of the replacement stone wall? And the, the only question I've got is, on the, on the existing profile of the site, it's a sort of a hump that comes up from the road. And the question I had is, what, I, would, would disturbing that very much impact the, the trees, the, the root system of the trees that are there along that wall. Kim, you, you know what I'm talking about? It yeah. comes up and um, if we plane that down so that you get a flat surface for a stone wall to sit on, now have we impacted the root systems of those existing trees. So what we need to do is consider a stone wall that actually somehow doesn't disturb that, that, uh, that, that uh, swale. Is that, is that a fair, is that a fair um, thing to say? Yes. That's, that's 72 level. Mm -hmm. there, so there is kind of a appreciable hump, um, you know, three to yeah. four feet in some areas. It is. It's a, it's a pretty yeah. big thing. So that's one of the reasons why the sort of standard stone walls um, I had questions about because of their, are they, is, are, is it going to be perched on top of the hump or how, how how does it how does it work? So, in if you look at the top picture, maybe the most descriptive on what I what I passed out here, you see the kind of and I apologize for not having these as large, um, but you, what you're talking about, you see kind of the stones on top of that, and then you know it humps up there. Right. Um, I was out there today actually pounding some stakes, trying to get a, a feel for where that where the road where the um, where the driveway opening is going to be, and actually what a lot of that is there is a lot of stone underneath there. So the stone, you know, the stone wall is within that and it's just been filled in with leaf litter and decay and leaf litter decay and leaf litter decay over the years. So there is a rock wall on top of that. I think stacking a rock wall again up higher on that would, would it topple, it would probably end up toppling over. Um, but I think enhancing that and kind of recreating what was there, cleaning it up, um, the, Stripping it down is going to impact the root system yeah, of those trees, and, yeah. so we can't do that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, so what do we do? Um, that's the question. Well, when we originally looked at this very early on, I thought what we had talked about was, because there is there's a lot of debris in that wall, is cleaning that out a little bit, exposing the wall, and then just recreating what you see there, where there are gaps. So it's not a formal stone wall, it's more just sort of like a piling of... I think that's the only thing we can do. Yeah. yeah. And we were really you know, open. We've consulted with the landscape architects and they were very concerned with, with trying to pull down and recreate for the exact reasons you're saying. Uh, if, you, if you do look at, and it's actually, I mean, this, the top picture is really good. There are a lot of trees, significant, right and smaller, just, you know, right in within it, growing out of it. Right. Um, so it does make it... Uh, difficult to really do anything other than just restack the rocks. Yeah. Well, we, can't, we can't fool with this. That's the thing. We can clean it up a little bit, but we can't take, if, if some of the wall, some of the stones have rolled down, we can, you can put them yeah, right back on top. Of that. Um, but um, other than cleaning it up a little bit, I, I can't see that the improvement would actually, the cure would be worse than the, than the problem. Um, yeah, and I think when you try and, you know, tear it down and rebuild it, you're going to end up with, you know, something more that ends up being looking more manicured just out of nature of people doing it. Which we don't want. Which, yeah, I think, I think you're, you know, you're looking somewhere between between those two. And these are all love lane, uh, different love lane walls. What we try to do is capture kind of the three different scales yeah. of what's going on. But I, can't, I don't think we can do the, um, the, the those guys. Yeah, it's, yeah. One it's, it's somewhere, I think you end up somewhere between these two. This kind of has that humping that's going on. And what is interesting is there is a lot of leaf litter that just gets trapped in there. If you were to actually, you know, get rid of all the leaf litter somehow, you probably, there's probably some still some you know soil in there, but you'd expose more 
wouldn't look exactly like that, but it'd be closer to that than that if you were to expose that. Well, could we do a test? Reset it. You know, do a section of the wall and see what what we come out with. Um, that was a discussion actually I actually had with uh, with um, with Jade and, and Kelly, with landscape architects. We were talking about that very thing today. We're out there. You know, it would make sense just to kind of. You know, peel back and see what's there. See what's we gotta, there. We got to move the rocks off the site as it gets developed anyway. So why not put them where they belong? But we'll just do it like a 20-foot section and see what what it looks like, and then go from there. Yeah, I mean, it, it's always the idea of just building, you know, that uh, you know, a sample, uh, just like any any wall sample you yeah. do, and then and then right. look for that approval there. Um, how would we how would we pace that out? Would we just put this whole process on hold, or would we just say no, we can you know, write the, we condition. can write the conditions that yes. we, yeah. you know the, this, there'll be a test sample and yeah. then we'll, we'll take a look at the at the test sample and, and determine how to proceed from there. We've done that before. Yeah, uh, that, I think that makes the most sense. That doesn't mess up any timelines. It doesn't slow you down, and, yeah. and, it, and it gives us a, a result that, that that's. You can't, you can't refute it. You, you guys will pick what, what, what you want when, when, it's, uh, when it's constructed on site. I think that, that's, uh, yeah. that's more than fair. Does that sound reasonable to you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why don't we do that? Okay. Good. All right. So in that case, we'll have to review the certificate of action mm -hmm. for this and for what at our next meeting, right? Yeah, I mean this this will be a short one. Okay. Good. But that's I, I guess we could we could close the hearing. Well maybe yeah, we could close the hearing. Yeah, I mean that's we're not that thing's our exhibit, right? so it's then just a decision. So anybody move to close the hearing? So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Good. That really did take five minutes then. We're just, now we're just looking at the. Actually, now yes. Because we have two people in the public I don't recognize from previous hearings, you might want to check to see if they're here for this. Well, that's a good suggestion. Yeah. Uh, Are you here for the scenic road hearing? Mm -hmm. Did, did we just had the scenic road hearing? Did you have any comments about what we said? Okay. They were good. <laughs> were they were they good? They were good. Okay. Thanks. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to ignore you. All right. Um, moving on to reviewing the certificate of action. Thank you. Okay. Okay. For uh, seventy-two. Lovely. Have you seen this? I did. Okay. Did you have any comments? No. Um, um, my comments I already gave to Joe, and I think they were reflected in them. Um, good. Um, I have the full set. One of the things at the last meeting we had a question on the lighting pictures so let me just show what that resulted in because actually in working with the architect and the engineer um, we actually reduced the lighting plan compared to what it was um, switched out some of the fixtures so that they were more um, uh, used less energy and uh, Lower lumen rating. So um, basically, they're at fifteen thousand um, ninety. Um, there was some some fixtures in the basement level that originally weren't on this, so that's why some of your number of fixtures didn't match what you were seeing. Um, so those are included, um, and actually they reduced down the wattage. I provided them with uh, some other lighting fixtures from the um, uh, from past projects, uh, recess lighting, some of the wall ones that then had a lower um, uh, bulb than what they were proposing. Um, I mean, they had some fixtures, 100 watt bulbs that were being proposed here. So those were all brought down. Um, 
the general location stays the same, um, number stays the same. There's no uh, post light, they just had um, two um, lights at the entrance, exactly those pendant lights, and then there was wall sconces in the rear. Uh, these are the wall lights, and then recessed lighting here, and then recessed lighting three above the garage doors. Um, so this is the, the recessed light fixture that um, actually we hand out for people looking for things, and all the other fixtures actually end up staying the same as what they had originally provided. Curiosity. This has nothing to do with lighting, but what is this stuff? The uh, oh, the hatching on either side of the driveway. That's that idea. The, the stabilized earth on the side of the driveways for the uh, to get that uh, that turning movement. Okay, so that's what <coughs> that would still look like. That's still look like grass. Yeah, it's that's the, the stabilized turf. Yeah. Yeah. And, and just out of curiosity, what is this thing? Uh, that's again that stabilized turf for, for pulling off for the uh, additional car parking. Again, that'll be that. Grass, a lot of grass look to it. Where's the look? Well, it'll be grass. It'll be it's a stabilized grass. Okay. Hmm. It's supposed to be plastic. And this is supposed to be plastic grass, yes. Yeah. Which is, looks really nice. And it's from here? No, it's like the plastic stuff in the underground, right? The, uh, the, the, the new, the new, you know, Turf fields, it's it's you know long grass has little rubber pellets and everything in it. It's really it's really nice to, to run on. You don't want to get a mouthful of it, but it's uh, it really is comfortable to run on. It's a, it's a very nice flat surface. The beauty of it is, as soon as the as soon as the snow melts, it usually melts quicker on there. You can play on it that day. You don't have to worry about ripping up. Yeah, I'll play it on the turf. It's a really nice product. I don't know. But that's not what that's that stuff is there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's grass. The stabilized stuff is it's it's like a. Uh, it's, it's a structure. Yeah, it's a structure under the ground that you know that holds it. Holds it exactly, it holds, yeah. it holds the soil together. There's a bunch of different proprietary products. Uh, little plastic, basically, there's plastic cups or even some. It could be you know. What's the lifespan on something like that? Or is it too new? They haven't figured it out yet. You all fit cemetery. They have the same things in there. Yeah, but you're not driving them. Well, yeah, they are. Well, you know, it 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 does it does. You can drive on it in ideal conditions. They, they'll claim it lasts forever because it's plastic. Um, you get a plow that hooks one end of it and rips it up. The same thing, you know, it's going to happen any lawn or anything else, it's going to rip it up. Okay. Um, and you have, to, you have to reset it. And it's not going to be exposed to UV light, so. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's, it's literally, it's underground. It's you know. plastic. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Change the um, conservation restriction mm -hmm. language. We do, don't we? I have to. I talked to George Bates about that, and that's something that once we have this decision regarding the driveway, whether or not that he has to change the restriction and ease that, and he's, he's in agreement. But I think that's something I have to do independent of this board. Yeah. Um, I remember when we first talked about it, though, that there were there were some there were some issues that we sort of generally agreed some some <coughs> language in the restriction that we agreed had to be changed. Um, well, we're talking about restrict. We're only talking uh, about the restriction on seventy two. Oh, seventy two. Right. Yeah. Um, and it was the width of the driveway. And I think that was it's the location of the driveway because the the, the original. Restriction referred to specific a specific driveway location, a specific drawing, mm -hmm. 
No, I think what you were referring to is when there was a flexible subdivision done with the previous owner. Um, but the restriction for um, this had, um, I've got it right there. Referred to a specific plan. Yes, but the plan wasn't that. Um, it was referencing a plan that actually showed the, the easement and the easement of the covenant areas. But it didn't show, it show a drive. design on the site just. Okay, I'm, I'm going back two and a half months now. So, yeah, but, no, but I thought I remembered that, the, that it actually did refer to a plan that that showed where the driveway was supposed to be. The original driveway was supposed to go. It referred to a plan where it showed the no development zone. Um, because okay. it wasn't, it had no driveway location. And I don't even know if I bought that large plan, which I did not. Well, in your, um, yeah, that's oh. something in your, oh, yes. uh, it was uh, one and two, the, the yes. tabs. Um, that was the Meridian plan that. This is the original. This is the yeah. plan of land showing the restriction. What was the? What was the? Was it an amendment <coughs> to the restriction that though that, that talked about the driveway location? Because I remember we had some discussions about that in the first couple of hearing sessions. Um, the uh, there was an amendment to the restriction, and the amendment to the restriction didn't refer to that property. It, that previous amendment actually referred to, I think, number eight, possibly, lot eight. Um, it was one of them. But, um, anyway, I, it's, I, I don't know. It's just something that we probably ought to follow up on. I just didn't want it to get lost in the shuffle. No, it can't get lost in the shuffle because um, because it, five years from now, I don't want it to blow up and, you know, it, it'd be a potential problem. It, um, it has to reflect what the restriction says on that lot 72. But yeah. There's no driver for that. Okay. So are you going to are you going to let Joe have a copy of the draft language that you that you're going to craft um, before reviewing with George? Or I'm, I'm happy to. What the restriction is do um, the length of the driveway. It's just the width of the driveway. Yeah. And as soon as I have to confirm with Bill that the width of the driveway is X and the curious surface is X, and I'll show it to Joe, and then I have to have. Um, George. I'll send you a copy too. Okay. That's good. Yes. Yeah. So. I think you can do this. If you get down to page 10 of 14 of the general and erosion of the We have number two, which we already this evening made a. We have a similar paragraph, but we added in. Notifying? The fire department. Yes, yeah, so oh, notification well, of the fire department. Yeah, I mean, we might as well be at least for today mm -hmm. consistent. What do you think? Well, <laughs> never um, so we might want to add that same language you know, we did yeah. previously. And, and somewhere we ought to add it here, the, the, you know, the language change. So that yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think I don't know. still got it. No, your butter is the fire department. So we get to do this all over again for the next one? I think we're going to use a different approach for the next one. <laughs> Team approach. I think it'll be a different approach. Yeah. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be good at it. 
that you you got everything ironed out in the first one, the second one. Just do how we handle the last two meetings, and you'll fly right through. The second one's tight. Just down on page 13 and 14, the conditions to be satisfied prior to the certificate of occupancy, you know, and the, uh, where, is, is this some um, particular property right on the setbacks line? Do you foundations going out? I'm just, I'm not asking, I mean, it's just, is it pretty close? Everything is. Everything is close. It's close, okay. No, we, we kept it back to the order magnitude feet. Not, right, it's one and a half feet. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're not, I, when I heard three inches inch close. When I heard three inches, inch, I was cringing, yeah. um, but, uh, you know, and, and, and we, you know, we kept it purposely back feet so that, that, that so was, you have a little, so we have that little. Okay. 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 I mean, it, it has come up that that a foundation is going in all the way to setback line. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've seen. It will slice off inches. Um, yeah, that whole foundation came back down. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the question really that I had was if there's one thing about the foundation is poured, poured into the plans, but our, our um, caveat here is that if any of the setback requirements are violated, I mean, is that the zoning setback or is it the site plan approved setback? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's intended as the zoning, and the reason is that we don't, if they say, oh, well, we'll just apply for a variance, right. that's where we say right. no. Problem. But I'm just saying, so let's say that the setback is 20 feet, this is going to make a little bit of a question, the house is supposed to be built uh, 30 feet, but instead it's 5 feet in. Would we, uh, what would we do then? I, we I'd actually, go? something like that, I'd be bringing back to the board. Okay. If it's right. an no, That's what I was saying, sir. Yeah. That 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 happened. Well, if you no, remember, I'm the one that had the tantrum. But she's right. saying it's not okay. going over the setback line. It's just it's not where. Not on the site line. Not where the site line shows it. Yeah. So if, if, if it was going to be 30 feet and the so setback is 20, it gets closer to 25. I think, I think we'd have to look at it. Yeah. yeah. We'd have right. to look at it pretty carefully. Yeah. 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 It would be a pretty big mistake. Yeah. It would be a big mistake, but we really we don't really say that would not be acceptable. We say if it was. You know, within the zoning setbacks, that would definitely not be acceptable. We don't actually state any variation from our approved plan. Well, I mean, technically, we we actually do. They have to build okay. it according no, to the site no, plan, and that's okay. They have to build it. Okay. But, but what she's saying is, we've we've encountered situations like the one on the post road. Oh yes, and where then the, where the, one the whole thing was two feet street. off. Mm -hmm. um, but well, I was told that that was just Seriously. And then was really part of the survey. You had a uh, Marion Street. Street. Mm -hmm. Not a Marion Woods Post Road. A Marion Street, we had it as well, 78. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 And, and then there's a lot of whining and moaning. 
because you know the, what, what are the choices that the, it's in mm -hmm. the cost uh, the trauma what, the headaches the delay I lost the job that was the one on uh, Miriam Miriam uh, we have a, a question Pardon? from oh, uh, yeah. Hi, um, I just had a question about, uh, I live on Clarish Drive, and the only question I really have is about traffic during construction. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with how tight the lane is. <laughs> yes, you've been wrestling about it. Especially, about how tight the is. especially during when there's snow on the ground. It's, it's a nightmare. So I was wondering if there was going to be uh, something in the... They can't park on the street, okay. period. And it's right here in the conditions. Standard language. Okay, so they'll be parking on, on your site. other lot or on site? They'll be on, on, on site, yeah. And you won't be parking on Clarence Drive? No, they can't park on the street. Okay. It's got to be on site. And it's not standard in most cases. Okay. If, absolutely. Well, it is in this one. If, if they do, um, call Joe. Exactly. And uh, it will it, get fixed. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I'll say straight up, I guarantee there will be some carpenter or some plumber. Yeah, there usually is. And then you have to get them out. Yeah. What, what are the hours of construction? That was my other concern. Because it's in here. It's in here. Uh, there, there we, is it doesn't it refer to the town? We just referenced it. We just referenced it. No sooner than 7 o'clock. Yeah. Is it 7 or 7.30? That's significant because of the buses. Did they have to compete? With construction vehicles? You could have asked the bus in the bus at 7 a.m. Yeah. to um, five. 5. But they're, again, they're not, they're, they're not in the street. They're pulling off, they're coming in and pulling yeah, off. They'll be coming in at 7, which is pretty critical time in terms of our commute back and forth through the bus stop. Seven is, does it have to be seven? I think it's a lot. I can see that causing a situation where you've got people trying to get out to get to the bus and the construction vehicles are trying to get on the site at the same time. So I don't think it. I'm not quite sure what we can do to minimize it, but I if know, you can, I know. if I, there are particular. I can't say when constructions are. I mean, Sandy, I mean, if you have, if you get a bus and a ten wheeler going up the street, someone's got to give. Yeah. In the winter time, the way it works, and residents who live on that road know. Well, hopefully this will be done way before summer oh, begins. Yeah. But you you end up having to back into people's driveway yeah. to let somebody else go. I mean, it's up and down the like, five times mm -hmm. to get from one to the other. When does the bus show up? Uh, no, we drive to a bus stop. Okay. Um, I don't know what time the Western Public School bus comes down. Yeah. The, they come down as well, but I'm not sure. 7.30. 7.30. Because presumably all the cars are going to be there before 7 o'clock in preparation for start at 7. We the leave, bus only makes one stop. On. We leave to go to the bus at 6.55. On the nose. <laughs> and we go down Love Lane up to Highland Street to get to our bus stop. So that's why I'm saying, ooh, does it have to be 7 like 7.05 would be better. <laughs> 7 10 would be better. Just to, to get up Love Lane before construction vehicles start heading down Love Lane. But I think what Roy's saying is that by the time 7 o'clock rolls around, they'll be on site. The construction would start at 7. So it's not as though so the vehicle, it's not as though 15 yeah. vehicles are going to. Well, that's what I'm envisioning. You know, I'm envisioning like, ooh, 7 a.m. and everyone starts. No, they're, down they're, 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 they'll have already gotten there by you know okay. 6:55, or most of them. You might encounter one or two. You'll have a delivery. Yeah. Yeah. They're eating donuts on site. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's 10. <laughs> um, why don't we, you know, if it's. I'm Once sure I can always talk to him too. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, they, 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 yeah. If there's definitely if there's a problem and you're sure. finding that there's a two days in a row, it's the same damn truck driver going down the road. Right, right. Um, okay, I got sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, and because that's sure. 
and contact me as well because um, then at least I can work with the developer and the building inspector and, and try to resolve yeah, we'll, things. We'll work something out. It, 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 it's not going to be a problem. Would you mind identifying yourself? Oh, yes, Connie Gutierrez, okay. A. Claire Strip. Everybody got a reading? Is that why you're looking at me like that? Good. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, it three of us. Because I wasn't at the original hearing. Right. And you were at the right. original hearing. Right. And I so dropped off the DVD of last week's hearing for Sue so she can take a look at it. And so on the front page, it should say two abstentions instead of one. Yeah. Okay. Minor squad. In that case, who is prepared to uh, move that we? All right, here we go. Um, I would like to uh, move that we approve the Certificate of Action Site Plan approval for 72 Leveling West End Mass. As modified. As modified, that's right. We did modify a little bit, especially for Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, so that's it. We'll, that's it. We'll, um, I'll sign this, the, fi the finished version, because there are a couple of minor changes. And. Um, you're done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, you're about the uh, rocks next week. Yeah. <laughs> we'll review rocks. Rock. And um, I'll send a draft. Um, language. Great. So you can get Sam. Thanks, Ben. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. after this week, there's a snowstorm. You got it. Don't go. Like they're telling you. Go back to the computer. It's going to be a lot of snow. Yeah, maybe. Might be the storm range. I'm hearing the line. I have a question. Yeah, I'm going to be a storm. Go now. So it's slowly. I don't know if it's going to be a storm. I don't know if it's going to be a storm. Oh, yeah. My client was in the ski. Yeah. I was in the ski.